Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a video about Yale President Peter Salovey and his welcoming address from today, I believe it was today or yesterday, that he posted online to the incoming class. And I just also want to say, well, first of all, I want to say the Yale President Peter Salovey's welcoming address is a complete and utter farce. I won't swear because it's YouTube. I'll try to keep it clean because I do want to hopefully monetize my account at some point. So Yale President Peter Salovey, his welcoming address was about compassion, empathy, being tolerant of opposing ideological viewpoints, bridgy differences. So he's a lying bigot and a fraud. He was complicit in the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale. He knew the entire time that I was completely innocent, that I'm a lifelong human and civil rights and anti-racism activist, and that I was an entirely innocent Yale graduate student and that he knew, he 100% knew, and I know because Yale General Counsel admitted as much, but Yale President Peter Salovey 100% knew that he was very likely getting me killed by telling disgusting lies about me and defaming me and leading a global vilification and defamation campaign against me. And he knew that he was very likely driving me to suicide. He knew that he was sending me into hiding while being deluged by death threats and rape threats and threats of violence. He knew that he was very likely inciting my murder. He knew. He knew about my fragile mental and emotional state. He knew about my mental health disabilities. He knew that he was very likely getting me killed. He was trying to get me killed to cover up his own gross malfeasance and his own complicity in the living or not being well black hate crime hoax at Yale. So his welcoming address is a complete and utter farce. It's a lie. Yale President Peter Salovey should resign in shame. He should be fired by the Yale Corporation. And I wanna make something very clear. He almost got me killed and Yale President Peter Salovey needs to be fired by the Yale Corporation because he's going to get someone killed. He's going to get a student killed, okay? And the entire diversity, equity, and inclusion administration at Yale needs to be fired. Well, the entire Yale administration needs to be fired for what they did to me, including Yale Graduate School Dean Lynn Cooley, Yale VP of Student Life Kimberly Goff Cruz, Yale Campus Police Chief Rennell Higgins, who perjured himself before the Connecticut Freedom of Information Commission, Yale Provost. Stephanie Spangler, who pretended that she was trying to help me, and really she was just stabbing me in the back the entire time. They all need to be fired, okay? They all need to be fired. But especially, especially the diversity and equity and inclusion administrators all need to be fired. Not only for what they did to me, including Yale Graduate School Diversity Dean Michelle Nierand, but because they are gonna get someone killed. They almost got me killed and they're going to get someone killed. There are going to be more and more suicides because they have to justify their existence. They have to justify their enormous salaries, okay? That's what they have to do. And there is basically no anti-black racism and no police brutality on Yale's campus. And I am the living, the still living the still living proof of that because what is what is the number one example of anti-black racism and police brutality on Yale's campus of Yale student government the idiotic graduate student assembly at Yale the idiotic group black students for disarmament at Yale well of course it's me it's me 
a well-documented and lifelong human and civil rights and anti-racism activist who worked with the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School on implicit bias and police brutality. Of course, it's me. I'm their number one example. It's a well-documented, uh, perfectly obvious, completely obvious hate crime hoax involving me, a well-documented anti-racism activist, a hate crime hoax, by the way, that was perpetrated by a well-documented anti-white and anti-Semitic racist, Lolata Ciambola, and, and proponent of Nick Cannon's melanin and original DNA conspiracy theories. Okay, so if you want a racist to call out, your racist is Lolata Ciambola. Your bigot is Lolata Ciambola, not me. So anyway, the, the, they all, they're, the suicides are going to rack up. And this isn't just about Title VI, although, of course, Yale didn't want a Title VI office on campus because that means they would have to respect the due process rights of the accused, and they don't want the, to respect the due process rights of the accused, which is why they created a vast, bloated, Maoist, bureaucracy for people to snitch on one another for alleged racial harassment and racial aggressions and racial microaggressions, okay? So this is idiotic and it's gonna get people killed because the suicides are going to rack up. I, it almost got me killed. They almost got me killed. I'm, I, I'm shocked, it's shocking to me that I'm still alive. And it's also about the complete lack of due process in the Title IX kangaroo courts, okay? People are gonna start killing themselves. Students are going to start killing themselves. What do you think happens when you destroy someone's life, name, reputation, livelihood, their career before it's even begun? What do you think happens when you defame someone in the New York Times as someone who tries to lynch black students on Yale's campus? What do you think happens? People kill themselves. People kill themselves and they get deluged by death threats and psychos try to kill them. Okay, people are gonna get killed. Someone's gonna get killed. And the entire diversity, equity, and inclusion administration at Yale needs to be fired and they need to be fired at every college and university and Yale President Peter Salovey needs to be fired by the Yale Corporation before he gets someone killed. Yale Graduate School Dean Lynn Cooley needs to be fired by the Yale Corporation before she gets another grad student killed. Okay? This is idiotic. This is insane. It's insanity. And it needs to stop. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me, your kind words, your support. I will have my PayPal me and my GoFundMe links below. Please donate to my legal fund. I still have time to sue Yale. If I can come up with the funds to sue Yale, I will sue them. I will sue them for defamation. I will sue them for the, my, their gross violations of my federal civil rights. We will restore due process and civil liberties and free speech on college campuses, including Yale, and across the US and everywhere, okay? I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.